Hi there, my name is Josh Johnson and I'm the director of products here at Adalo and I'm so excited to share with you our brand new Ask ChatGPT custom action. This is built into Adalo with very little setup, just an open AI API key. You can get going and you can start building custom AI powered apps without coding right here in Adalo. And there is so much cool stuff that you can do with AI plus Adalo. It goes far beyond chat. I know you're gonna think of chat as the first example because ChatGPT is very popular and that's the interface we think of. But using GPT, using the power of natural language processing, there is so much that you can do to make your apps more powerful, to provide a better user experience, and to perform automation um, in ways that en enable you as the maker of the app to get the kind of output that you need from what the, the end user has input. So we're going to look at some of those examples today. We'll start with chat, but we're going to go way past that into some really cool examples. And I know you're going to come up with some cool stuff that I've never even thought of. So I'm so excited to see what you build. So to get going, let's jump over to OpenAI. I'm gonna grab an API key. I'll create a new secret key here. Uh, I've already done this, but basically you, you grab your OpenAI API key and you paste it in and you hit save. And that's really all the setup that you need to do to get this custom action working. You don't need to look at the JSON or anything like that. Uh, we've done all of that for you to make sure that this is really easy to use right out of the box. So now that that's set up, I'm just gonna click my button here. And what I want is I have this input and when the user asks a question and hits go, I want to send that to ChatGPT and then get a response and post that response here. And so that's pretty easy. All I have to do is select the button. I'm going to go under custom action and do ask ChatGPT. And we've set this up for you. You don't have to do all this setup. If you look in here, we've done all this complicated stuff for you. You don't have to mess with any of it. All you have to do is input your prompt and you can pull that prompt from just typing in some text here. You can pull it from the input like I'm going to do. You can pull it from the database. You can mix all of that together so that if let's say you're taking some user input, you can add additional context to that or additional instructions to ChatGPT to get it in the format that you want or put guardrails around it and make sure they're only asking the kinds of questions you want to do. It's completely up to you. Experiment a lot with different inputs and prompts and look at the results that come out of it. Uh, you're going to find that you can do a lot of cool stuff. So to start, I'm just going to take the input. So I'm going to come in here under custom or other components. And I'm going to say question input. So that's grabbing the stuff that's in here. I'm not going to use history for now. Um, in the future, you'll see how this works. Uh, but basically, the history feature allows you to add extra context or past messages so that the bot can have a back and forth experience with you. It's going to use more tokens, but it's going to allow you to have that true chat GPT-like inner uh, interaction where you can have this back and forth with the bot. You can ask follow-up questions and it remembers. So if you want to give it that memory, save your conversation to the database in a big chunk and then pass it in as the history. Again, you'll have to keep an eye on your tokens. Uh, so when you don't need that, don't use it. But when you do, uh, it's definitely there and available for you. So add another action. So here I want to update that response. And so I'm going to change input value. I'm going to choose response. And for the value, I'm going to go into the custom action. You can see the ask chat GPT has all this stuff that it's going to return for me. Most of the time, you're just going to want the response. So I'm going to save that there. And so that's it. Now I have this uh, AI powered, LLM powered chat GPT experience right inside of Adala. Now I'm going to fast forward a little bit and make this look a little bit better, jump to the end result here. Uh, and so I've made an interface here that looks a little bit more familiar. Um, this looks a lot like chat GPT and you can see that uh, basically, it has all the same types of features that you're familiar with. So you can ask a question in here, and it's going to give you a response. Uh, I have been using the history uh, feature in this so that I can ask another follow-up question. I can just say, how about product manager? Here I've said, write a one-paragraph job description for a social media manager. And it remembers that. It remembers that we were having this conversation because I'm using that history feature because I'm saving this to the database and passing it in through that history feature in the prompt. And so now I'll say, how about a product manager? And so what this is doing is a few actions that I've connected to that button. It's going to save this message to the database so that I can render it in the list, but it's also going to send that message along with the chat history to OpenAI, and it's going to process it and return the result. Obviously, this is an instant. Um, 
LLMs still take a little bit of time to, to yield a result. So uh, you are gonna have to deal with a little bit of wait time, but you'll find that it's pretty quick. Um, and so we already have our answer here. And so now it gave me a job description for a product manager. You can clear that context if you don't wanna use so many tokens, or if you say just wanna start over and you don't want it to remember that past conversation, you can have an action here that clears out whatever history you're sending, uh, which I've done here to clear the context. Uh, and then it would not remember, it would just start over from scratch. So that's the chat example. That's the most basic thing you're gonna think of uh, when you think about how to use this new custom action. But I don't want you to stop there. I want you to go far beyond chat and start to think about how you can improve your UX and automate really cool stuff with this new integration. So let's take a look at what that's like. All right, so my first example here is a volunteering matching app. Um, and so I have been a volunteer with this service and they want me to know how, how did it go? How did, how, tell us about your volunteer experience. And to be honest, I have some pretty negative feedback. Um, when I went and volunteered with this, this organization, uh, things could have been better and I have some stuff to tell them. And uh, I wanna be nice. I know they're good people, they're doing good work. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to in, input my just quick thoughts on, on how this could be better and what I want them to know. And then I've created this little button here that's going to process this and it's going to help me make this more professional. Writing is difficult and uh, formal writing is especially difficult. And I, again, I don't wanna be mean to anyone here, but I wanna give them feedback and I want it to sound professional and friendly. And so I've made a prompt here for ChatGPT to do exactly that, to take whatever I put in here and turn it into professional and kind feedback. And so if I need help with that as an end user, all I have to do is press that button and it's going to make that more professional for me. LLMs are really good at this type of task. As you can see, it took my uh, very poor grammar and it took my angry ranting and it turned it into something a lot nicer and uh, a lot more formal. And again, LLMs are so good at processing text um, with an output in mind and it can save you a lot of time uh, if you're not someone who, who loves technical writing or if or formal writing of any kind or your end users need help with that, uh, it's really easy to use ChatGPT uh, to help out with that process. All right, so my next example here is a school app. I'm a teacher in this example, uh, and I have questions from a lot of parents coming in, and some of them are coming in in Spanish, and you know what, my Spanish is a little bit rusty, so with the power of AI, I'm able to add a translate button here. Uh, and there's a lot of ways to get translations on the internet, but uh, with OpenAI and ChatGPT, it's pretty easy to just put this right in your app uh, so that you can see it just adds a translation there. Uh, the prompt that I used, I put down here just so that you can see it, but all you have to do is tell it to translate it to English, and it does a pretty decent job of that. Uh, so it's pretty cool to be able to translate things inside of your Adalo apps with almost no effort. Here's one more example. I've uh, come up with the example here of an HOA. And so uh, we have a proposal as an HOA and people are sending me emails as an admin of the HOA. I want to know if this proposal is being well received. And so I have all these messages to sort through and I have to figure out do people like this proposal, do people not like it, are people upset about it? Um, and I can use AI to do sentiment analysis. This is a really powerful feature um, where I can have AI read all this stuff for me and tell me what the sentiment is. As you can see here, I've had the prompt tell it to just come back with positive, negative, or neutral. So I can really format my output to exactly what I need. So all I have to do is press this analyze button and it's going to come back with the uh, sentiment of this uh, this comment that someone submitted. And you can see that that does it pretty quickly. Um, and up here, I'm having the counts so I can see that uh, it's mostly positive to neutral. It's pretty good. Uh, people like this proposal and uh, being, being able to use AI in this way helped me do this task much faster. So you can think about it from that perspective. How can I take the task that's going to take me a long time and have AI help me uh, automate some of that work so that I can do it much quicker? So the final example here is a messaging system. And what I want the AI to do here is content moderation. Always think about the job to be done here. What is the job that I want the AI to do? What is the job that I have to do that I would like to offload to the AI? And in this case, I wanna do content moderation. Um, I have a recruiting app and I allow people to message their recruiters. And if you've ever interacted with anyone on the internet, you know it can get pretty heated when you give someone a comment box that they wanna type stuff into. And you know what, I as a business owner, I wanna protect my recruiters from that. I don't want anyone sending them abusive 
or awful language in any way. Uh, I want to help people. I want to make sure that they can get what they need out of the app, but I do want to prevent that. And I want to show a message to the user. If they've input something uh, that is a little bit too strong, I want them to see a message that they really need to rewrite that. And we just don't accept messages like that. And so that's what I've done here. I've included a prompt uh, that will return a simple yes or a no. Um, so that I can know uh, if this comment includes strong or insulting language. And so in this case, it definitely does. So I'm going to hit that submit button. And as you can see, the, uh, the chat GPT plugin uh, flagged that it sent back a yes. And so when it sent back a yes, it allowed me to show this message that, uh, that we don't accept these type of messages and uh, the user has to uh, say that they will rewrite the comment um, to be a little bit kinder. And so then my staff doesn't have to deal with this. My The people that I work with, um, they're only receiving messages that are thoughtful, um, that can absolutely have some pushback in them, but are not abusive in any way. So content moderation is a really powerful way uh, to use AI in your app to do something that's kind of a slog otherwise. It's a really painful process to use uh, people to interject with that. So the more you can use AI and leverage someone who doesn't have to undergo that abuse to do that, the better. So that's another great example. All right, so we've seen several examples of how to use AI uh, with Adalo to create really powerful experiences. Uh, Obviously, you can create chatbots. Those are amazing, and we're seeing a ton of great use cases for that in apps right now. But you can also get some writing help and do some text transformation. You can have it translate uh, some things. You can do sentiment analysis so that when someone writes something, uh, you can figure out what that sentiment is and sort of tag it and then categorize it accordingly. You can do content moderation with AI. There's just so much you can do with this, and I can't wait to see what you all do with it because I know it's going to be amazing. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm.